we are going to read a new story this week, and our new story has some words in it that you might not have heard before. So we're going to talk about these words. These are called our vocabulary yeah, words. Yeah, we'll do zero hero in just a little bit, okay? We're going to talk about these words before we read our story so that we can understand the story better and understand the words when we hear them, okay? All right, our first word is process. Can you say that word? Process. Process. Let's say that word and count the syllables. Remember, we put our, our um, hand right under our chin and feel how many times our chin drops. Ready? Process. process. Kinley, you do it with me. Ready? Process. process. Show me with your fingers how many times our chin drops. So how many syllables are there? Two. There's two syllables in the word process. Now, let's say that word and listen for the first sound. What's the first sound in process? Process. What's the first sound that you hear? Good. What letter makes that sound? P. P represents the plus sound. Now, I'm going to write the word right here. Process. What sound do you hear at the end? What letter represents that sound? S. It has two S's in it. Process. Very good. Okay, this process means when something goes or when something goes through a process, it changes and it follows a set of steps. And it changes while it follows those steps. So I'm gonna say some sentences that help us understand the word process. When I go through a process of washing my hands, they become clean. Who can think of some of the the steps that we take to get our hands clean. What's the first thing we do, Owen? We put soap on. We put soap on, but what do we do first with the water? Turn on it. Turn on the water, and, and what do we get? Wow. We get our hands wet with the water, and then we put the soap on, right? And then show me what you do with your hands after you put the soap on it. We scrub it. And then show me what you do after we scrub our hands with the soap. Where do we put the our hands, Austin. We, 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 we put them under the water, right? To get the water, to wash the soap off. And then, what do we do? Dry uh, them. Dry them. We dry them. Yeah, we can use a hand dryer or a towel or something to dry them. So our, our hands go from dirty to clean. clean. So it goes through a process. You can use a paper towel. That's true. Building a house is a slow process. It takes a long time to build a house. We started the process, let's look at these, these people right here. We started the process of making a, a cake. Ooh, that's a fun process. We get a yummy treat after. But do you know what is not a process? What? If you're just laying on the couch watching TV, is that a process? No, yeah. you're just laying there. You're not changing, right? It's not a process. Very good. Now we're gonna do our yes or no questions. Get your thumbs ready. If something is a process, you're going to give me a thumbs up. Kate, if it's not a process, thumbs down. All right, Skylar, are you ready? On Hills, you ready? Oh, Abril, are you ready? We'll tell you a minute, okay? All right, are you going through a process when you come to the classroom first thing in the morning? Yes, because what? Are you at home? Yeah. And then you come to school, and you're a student at school, right? So you go from being... Just a kid at home to a student at school, right? Okay, here's our next one. When your baby sister or brother learn to walk, are they going through a process? Yes, Luna knew so fast. Luna, why are they going through a process? Because they were walking. They're walking. Did they walk when they were a baby? No. No, they didn't walk when they were a baby. Okay, so they become, they go from a baby to a kid. A kid like you, right? Yeah, we are kids. Yeah, you've changed. You went from a baby to a kid. Okay, thumbs ready. One more question. Ready, Kate? Kinley, are you ready? Bro, ready? All right. If you're standing totally still and not doing anything, are you going through a process? No. No, you're not. Oh, and why is that not a process? Because <coughs> you're not doing anything. Did you change? No. No, you were just standing still. That's not changing, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I want you to think of the process that you go through when you brush your teeth. Can you describe the process that you go through when you brush your teeth? Skylar. Um, yeah, you had to be careful, huh? Yeah. Let's see, what's the first thing you do? When I brush my teeth, I get what? Water. Water. What do you have to get first? Brush. Your Brush. toothbrush. You say that. When I get brush my teeth, I get my toothbrush. Toothbrush. Then 
What do you do? Toothpaste. Toothpaste. And then, and then wash it. And then let's pretend we're brushing your teeth. And what do you do after you brush your teeth? Wash, the wash your toothbrush and your teeth go from clean. dirty to clean. That's good. All right. I have another process. Okay, we'll talk about process more later this week, okay? Our next word is observe. You say that. Observe. Good. Kinley, Kate, you say it. Observe. Everybody, ready? Observe. Observe. That's a tricky word. word. Say it again, Austin, ready? Observe. Observe. Let's count the syllables, ready? Observe. Show me with your fingers. How many syllables? Observe. This is a tricky one. Austin, how many syllables? Skylar, how many syllables? Kate, show me how many syllables with your fingers. Two syllables. Two syllables in the word observe. Let's say the first sound in the word observe. What's the first sound? Ah. 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 What's the letter that represents that sound? Oh. And what's the last sound that you hear? Observe. Punch it up. What's the sound? And the letter is V, and it has a silent E on the end, like the word light. Okay, all right, when you observe something, you closely watch someone or something. Let's look at this coach. The coach will observe the baseball players during the game. Look at him watching the game. He's observing closely. I like to observe bugs. I observe kindergartners who are good listeners today. You're listening so good. I am not observing when I'm sleeping at night. No, because I'm, I'm taking, I'm, my eyes are closed, right? Okay, thumbs ready for yes or no. Ready, Austin? Ready, Kate? Here we go. Yes or no. Are you observing something when your eyes are closed? Because you can't look at it closely, right? Because you're just sleeping. Do me and Miss Megan observe you playing on the playground at recess time? Yes. Ollie, why do, why do we observe you at recess? What are we doing? Wait. What are me and Miss Megan doing when we observe We're watching. you? watching. We're watching, right? Because we want to make sure you're safe at recess. Yeah. All right, last one, Kinley. Ready on now? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Are you observing the teacher if you are looking at your friend and poking them? During Hegarty? No. Why not? Why not? Why are you not observing them, the teacher? Everly. Because you're just now you're getting people distracted. Yeah, you're being distracted and you're not watching the teacher closely, right? Yeah. Yeah. We want to watch closely so you can learn. Okay, what is something you observe in the classroom? You can raise your hand and catch the words and tell me something you observe in the classroom. Kate. Oh, it's Kate's turn. He wrote this one. The chart. The ABC chart? I observe the ABC chart when we do our ABC chant. Let's say that. I observe the ABC chart when we do our ABC chant. Remember, that's when I talked to you about looking at the words. Are you observing? Yeah. And looking at the letters? Yeah, you're looking at them closely. Luna, thanks for raising your hand to catch any words. The schedule? Yeah. When we look at our schedule each day and mark each thing off, we're observing our schedule. Good. All right. Last word. Oh, actually, what is this word? Observe. Let's say that. Observe. Until you say it. Observe. Good. Um, in just a minute. Okay. Our last word is slender. You say that word. Slender. Slender. All right. Let's 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 count the syllables. Ready? Slender. Okay, show me with your fingers. How many syllables? April, you do it. Slender. Show me with your fingers. How many syllables? <gasps> Luna saw two, her two syllables. Oh, and did you? Oh, I see your fingers back there. Two syllables. Good. Let's say the first sound. What's the first sound in slender? S. S is the letter. What's the sound? Good. And what sound do you hear at the end? Slender. What's that sound? Let's punch out the last sound. Ready? Slender. What's the last sound? Er. And um, Skylar, what is the letter that represents that sound? R. R. Slender. 
Okay, the stripe on his shirt was slender. Look, we have a friend that has a slender stripe on his shirt. Ollie, you see this white stripe on Ollie's shirt? That's a slender stripe, isn't it? A piece of my hair is slender. Look, can you even see that tiny piece of hair? Yeah. It's so slender you can barely see it, right? The slender pieces of wheat wave in the wind. Look at that wheat. Wheat is something that we use to make bread and things like that. Wheat is slender. An apple is not slender. It is not slender. It's round. Oh yeah, Ollie put his thumbs down. He knows that's not slender. Okay, thumbs ready. Yes or no? Ready? Ready, Kate? Ready, Kinley? Oh, I answered wrong. Okay. Is a huge hippopotamus slender? No, Dawson, why isn't the hippopotamus slender? Because he's fat. He's fat. He's big and fat. Huh? That's the opposite of and slender. Huge. And, and huge is another word for slender. Okay, fingers ready. Is a straw that you drink out of slender? Mm -hmm. Yes, Everly, why is a straw slender? Because you can drink water out of it. Yeah, it's so skinny that inside of it just has the little skinny part that the water can come out of. One more. Is a beach ball, ready Ollie? Ready April? Is a beach ball slender? I think it's, is it thin? Oh, goodness friends, I think I forgot to tell you the, the definition of slender. The definition is slit is skinny and narrow. Slender is skinny and narrow. I think show an example of that though. Skinny and narrow. So, is a beach ball skinny and narrow? Is it slender? No, it's not. Kinley, why is a beach ball not slender? Because it's... Is it skinny and narrow, like my hair, or is it big and fat? It's thick. It's big and fat, right? It's round and it's not slender. Very good. Just okay, like I want you to look around the room. Raise your hand and catch your words if you see something that is slender in our classroom. What is something that is skinny and narrow? Owen. For A, B, C, C, chart. Can we do the, the A, B, C, and G? So this part on our A, B, C chart, the border, that's the part that goes around the edge, that's slender, right? It's skinny and narrow. The border is skinny and narrow. You say that. The border is skinny and narrow. One more. Austin. The, the numbers. Um, it's oh, right here? Yeah. Yeah. Do you see how the, the numbers, the outline of the numbers here? Like the number one, that's skinny and narrow. That, that was good noticing, Austin. The numbers are skinny and narrow. You say that. Don't forget to say slender. The, oh, the <laughs> You say the numbers are slender. You say that. The numbers are slender. I forgot the definition, and now I'm thinking about the definition. Okay. All right, so we have three words we're listening for in our story. Let's say this word one more time. What's this word? Slender. We're going to say all of the words. What's this one? Process. You say that. Process. Observe. Good, Owen. And... Slender, slender. All right. If you hear that word in our story, <clears throat> I want you to fold your arms, okay? When you hear me, when you hear me read that word in our story, when our story is final time, okay? All right. Now we're just going to read part of our story today and then we'll read the other part tomorrow, okay? Our story is called From Caterpillar to Butterfly. Now this is an informational text. Who remembers what an informational text is? Skylar. So lots of times the, the pictures are photographs, right? They're not drawings in informational text. Is an informational text something that's real or not real? Real. Real. It's about something real and we learned new information about it. So on the hill, we're going to read about how a caterpillar goes, turns to a butterfly, okay? Many baby animals look a lot like their parents. A baby colt grows up to be a horse. A little cub grows up to be a bear. Do you know what a caterpillar goes up to be? A butterfly. Guess what? If you said butterfly, then you are right. A caterpillar looks nothing like its parents. How do caterpillars grow and change into beautiful butterflies? What is the process every butterfly goes through? 
A word. Did you hear a word? What word did you hear? I heard process. Fold your arms if you heard process too. What is a process every butterfly goes through? Who remembers what a process is? What does it mean? Olive. Um, if you're just laying on the couch, that's not a process. But if you're doing something, that's a process. Because if you're doing something, you go through a change, right? You change when you go through a process. So is a butterfly changing? Yeah. When it goes from a, yeah. or is a caterpillar changing? And it yeah. goes from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Yep, that's why it's a process. That's it. I've pet butterflies. Oh, a butterfly goes through four stages or steps in its life. Let's observe each stage. Oh, I heard one of our words. You want to say it again? Let's observe each stage. Ollie, what word did you hear? Observe. Observe. You say that. Observe. observe. Who remembers what observe means? Everly. That means you're watching. You're watching it closely, right? So we're going to watch closely each stage in our story. The first stage is the egg. Some butterflies lay eggs in groups, but the monarch butterfly lays just one egg at a time. The mother butterfly lays her eggs on plants. Her babies will eat the plants when they hatch. That's interesting. After a week, the second stage begins. The caterpillar hatches from the egg. It is small and slender. It looks like a worm. <laughs> Luna, what word did you hear? I'm slender. Slender, you say that word. Slender. slender. Who remembers what slender means? Oh, Austin, sitting on her pockets. Uh, slender means that you're watching something and it's not slender and you're not, and you're watching. So watch is observe. Remember, we just talked about that one. When we're watching something closely, that's observe. You remember one of our words, but this word is slender. Who remembers what slender means? Everly. That means like. Oh, you guys are going to observe, but Kinley, do you remember what slender means? Like my hair is slender. A straw is slender. That's the opposite of slender. Skylar. Um, slender means that um, it's um, like fat. And um, means that it's like when you're slow. That's the opposite of slender. So if something's not fat, it's what, Olive? Skinny. It's skinny. That's right. That's what I get for not telling you the definition first, Just right? Like we I are should have skinny. told you the definition first. Okay, so uh, slender yeah. means skinny or slim, right? Or narrow. Slim and narrow. So the, the caterpillar, is he fat? Yeah. No. No, he's like, like he's not fat like a hippopotamus, right? Mm -hmm. He's slender. He's skinny and narrow. All right. Mrs. Crockett. Just, uh, just a minute here, okay? It looks like a worm. The caterpillar is only as long as your fingernail. So look at that. Do you see my fingernail? It's only as long as from here to here on my finger. Can you believe that? In the picture, it looks big, doesn't it? But in real life, it only is as long as this part of your finger, your fingernail. The caterpillar eats a lot and grows quickly. First, it eats its own eggshell. Then it feeds on plant leaves. So it eats the egg that it was in, and then it starts eating the leaves. The caterpillar uses its strong jaws to munch on the leaves. This part is called your jaw. Can you say that? Jaw. jaw. So they use its jaws to munch on the leaves. Munch means that you just keep chomping and chomping and keep eating. Can you munch? Hold your arms if you've ever munched on food. Oh, I definitely have. I love to munch on food. It uses other parts of its mouth to smell and taste the food. As a caterpillar grows, it molts or sheds its skin. Molts means that it, uh, or sheds means it's, the skin is coming off. So that the outside part of it comes off. This happens four or five times. After a few weeks, the caterpillar has reached its full size. Now reach, in this sentence, it means that it arrived at its full size. 
It went from the, the small, smallest it was to the size it's gonna be forever. So like Dawson, I have reached my full size. I'm an adult, that's as, as big as I'm gonna get, right? Have you reached your full size? No. No, because you're still a kid, right? That's what reach means in this sentence. It, it reached its full size. Now it is ready for the next stage, stage three. So we saw a process. We saw it, it come from an egg to a caterpillar. And tomorrow we're going to watch it come from a caterpillar to the butterfly. Won't that be cool? Yeah, it's fun to see. Yes, Owen. The creepy doll said, tomorrow my new, new show is coming. It's a little like this, like my, my five-year-old. Ew. I'm happy. You need his shoes. You told yeah, me last week you need his shoes. All right. Let's look at our words one more time. And let's see if you remember Remember our words. Okay. What's this one? This is process. process. You say process. process. Good. Dawson, what's this word, Abril? It's this a, one's observe. observe. Good. And slender. slender. Good. Tomorrow we'll learn a couple more words and finish our story.